Jim. How are you? What's up, brother? How are you? Good, man. Good, good. So I see you're in your in your uh, your white, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, doing all the today. All right, cool. So, is it just you and I today, or what? No, Ryan actually just texted me, wondering about the mic. So, did you send it to him? Yeah, he should be he should be here momentarily. Cool. Sounds like Ryan joined us. Or is trying to anyway. Hey. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on, Jim? Hey, not much, not much, and a whole lot. So, awesome. Yeah, awesome. It is awesome. He is awesome. He's awesome. So, um, you guys ready? Yeah. So, I'll, what I'll do is I'll touch on some 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 key pieces, and then I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Um, but uh, I'm going to touch on some key pieces because what I what I have what I I don't get an opportunity to do in the webinar is is I don't go as deep as I normally go with you guys with respect to you know, getting, really, really getting you started and getting you in the mindset of what it's gonna take in order to make this happen. Because really one thing you're gonna, um, one thing that you're gonna realize is that I do, I keep everything very, very simple. That doesn't change. Um, and, uh, you know, which is why today I'm, I'm able to work, you know, I'm, I'm able to have a, a, an Airbnb, just this portfolio itself, that um, that's generating for me roughly around 100 and 160 to 180 thousand dollars a year, and I'm putting in 30 minutes a day. That's it. And so um, and so the key is about keeping it simple. So um, so first and foremost, what this shows is uh, 27 listings, and of the 27 listings, um, only seven of them I own. The other 20 we we lease. So. So my goal is to um, to be making at least um, two thousand dollars, or somewhere in that range, close to two thousand or more than two thousand dollars a month, right? Per and property. Per for that property, yes. Gotcha. Right, and so that's that's the goal there with that, and um, uh, and across the board, that's pretty much where we are. And uh, so let me show you this one. Um, which is this is this is one that we have by the university. So this is what the property looked like when we picked it up. It was it was remodeled. Uh, it uh, ceramic tile floors, uh, new appliances. This is um, there's two kitchens in this property. This is the smaller one. It's on the second floor. Um, there's six rooms in this property. Um, five uh, up and one down the one down has the other kitchen and and that's the that's a suite right so this one is uh this is what our beds look like inside um everything is all white um pillowcases when we do something a little bit special we you know we add uh two towels two washcloths soap and a um a sparkling grape juice so this is the rear of the property and uh, this is one that I pay, this property here, we pay six, uh, I'm sorry, we pay 1800 a month. This one generates for me 6,100 a year no, a month, kidding. right? And I, I picked it up. So if, 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 if I pay 1800 a month, I keep about 4,000. And um, that means I got into it for 38, 3,600, which is what I did. So I picked it up for $3,600, I'm netting, more than that, I'm netting uh, close to about four thousand, and um, so yeah, roughly around four thousand after um, after utilities and and cleaning and all that stuff. So about four thousand a month, and um, so my return on investment is a thousand percent. Wow. So here's one that's near a hospital, not near university, but it it. I didn't get it because it was near a hospital. I got it because <laughs> it was it, it it fell in my lap and it was in a decent area. Right, I didn't even have to go after it because the sheriff that actually owns this property, um, I I I rented one from him six months before he approached me on this. So this was one of our most recent ones that we picked up, and um, and he he contacted me and he said, Hey Jim, you know I'm loving the way everything is going. And I got another one cut up. You, you know, would you want to take it? It's uh, it, I just remodeled about a year ago, and the lady that's living there, she's moving to Puerto Rico. So, 
you know, the place is, you know, it's still in great condition and, and she's renting it for 1300 but um, I'll give it to you for under a thousand. I said, yeah, show me some pictures. And um, he sent me a couple pictures, he sent me a bunch of pictures actually. And, uh, and I said, yeah, I'm in, let's do it. And he goes, great, great, great. And um, so I got this one for, um, this is what it looked like when I walked in, untouched, same thing, remodeled, that, that bedroom is, not the same it's not really the bedroom that's the one of the other property that i have on the other street next to it that he also owns and i just put it in there because i wanted to get the listing up real quick um but that's the house small little cape three bedrooms um remodeled bathroom kitchen this is the bath uh it's kitchen again new appliances um ceramic tile walls on the on shower and the floors uh this is a you know, this is, you know, I mean, you guys are familiar with rehab, so this is what they look like. Um, that's the bedroom and that's how all the bedrooms look, you know, Home Depot, Lowe's product. And then our beds all look the same. That's why I just wanted to grab one quick because the rooms are a little different, but the beds all look the same. So, um, uh, and that's the kitchen again. So, uh, so this one, I picked this one up for, for $1,950. It generates about three grand a month. I keep about two right in my pocket just a little under two so same thing i got it for a little under two 1950 which is 975 a month and uh i generate uh, about twenty four thousand two thousand dollars a month twenty four thousand dollars a year another thousand percent return this template is the template that we you're going to be sending out to zillow to uh trulia you're going to be sending out on um, apartments.com you're going to send out to Craigslist. You're going to send out 10 of these a day. That's it, right? It should take you a half an hour. That's it. Simple. You you do your first 10. Um, the same day, you're going to get a number of responses, right? Um, you're going to get a number of responses your first day. Um, and then if you're sending these out, you know, every day, like you should for the first week, by the end of the week, by the end of the week, you'll have more than a handful or two of 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 responses and not just responses but appointments that you're you're going to schedule and go out to and you when you send me your template you'll see what I, i'll send it back i'll send it over to you because it, it combines both it combines picking up properties with seller financing rent to own lease options so it's the same it's the same method just a different um just a a, a different paragraph added to the template what you're going to get when you when i send you out um the uh the editable template and um and then you'll i'll we'll explain how you use that but that's how it starts here's the win when i talk about win-win win-win is i already know what i need to get from this like i, I want to get a piece of property that is that's going to give me a positive cash flow right that is um in the positive cash flow i want to be within this range i want you know 500 to a thousand percent return on investment and um plus Right, and, and that's my win. And I wanna be able to get this without having to go to a bank and do all this other stuff. And and, um, and that's it, that's really what I want. <coughs> so when I go out, when we're having our conversations, our initial conversations, I'm, I'm talking to him to figure out what their needs are. What are their needs? And if I can get them their needs, I can get their needs filled without it compromising significantly conflicting with my win then they get their win so this was one of the first bnbs i ever did and um it was uh it's in the suburb here it's a townhouse and uh when i picked it up i wasn't really going after it for bnb purposes it was i was looking to, to buy some investment properties and um and i did a i did a marketing campaign and the lady contacted me and so we were chatting on the phone and we were close enough on numbers where i said okay you know what let me come out let's chat and i'll take a look at the place and when i got out there we still couldn't we still couldn't close the gap so before i left i said to her hey would you be interested in leasing it to me and she said leasing it um, what would you do? Why, what, what would you be doing? I said, well, I have professional guests that come in from out of town 
and um, and I host them. She goes, oh, like Airbnb? I said, yeah, exactly, like Airbnb. That's exactly what I do, um, and that's one of the platforms. She goes, oh, all right, well, let me think about it. So two days later, she calls me back and she goes, hey, Jim, is that offer still on the table? I said, which one? She said, the lease offer. I said, yeah, um, why, what's going on? She said, well, you know, the reason why I was considering selling was because I just finished my doctorate degree and I got you know, multiple opportunities in different parts of the country to go and teach. I just got a call from Atlanta. They want me there by the end of the week um, to start my new job. And I said, and, and she said, so how soon could you put the paperwork together um, and get and can we get it done? I said, well, I can have the paperwork and the money out to you tomorrow. She goes, really? Wow, great. So um, when I met her over there, I said, hey, by the way, here's another thing to consider, Michelle. Um, I know you, you're thinking about all this stuff you need to do. You got to move this here and have all stuff move. Don't worry about moving anything. Just take the stuff that you want. And as long as you don't mind me using the stuff that you leave, then just leave it. Right, just leave the stuff and some of it I'll use, some of it I won't. And um, and if you want me to discard some stuff that we don't that we don't need, that you don't uh, want, we'll do that too. The stuff we don't use, if you don't want to discard it, we'll just store it in the, in the garage. She goes, really? I said, yeah, really. She said, okay. I said, so the only thing you have to think about is just getting out of here. Go to Atlanta, get out. She goes, oh my gosh, that is wonderful. So, so she was, there's her win. Now, three months later, everything's going great. Like her monthly payments get deposited into her account every month. She doesn't have to do anything, right? Three months later, I correspond with her and I said, hey, Michelle, how's everything going out there? She said, Jim, it's wonderful out here. I said, are you coming back? She said, nope. <laughs> I'm not coming back. I said, okay, well, how would you like to give me an option to purchase the property? She goes, really? Hmm, I think I'd like to do that. Let's talk about it. So what I did, now this is not Airbnb. This is creative real estate. So right. I'm, I'm planting a few seeds, right? I mean, I don't, you know, real estate is real estate, right? I mean, this stuff, there's gonna be opportunities and the key is, do you know how to identify them? And then do you know how to put them together and make them work? So here is an opportunity. What I did was, oops, sorry. I did an amendment, an addendum to her lease. And I gave her two choices on the option. One choice was at 98,497. The other choice was for one for 112,329. We, we settled on the 98,497. So I did a purchase agreement to her for 98,497. And the, the $1,200 security deposit that I put down, we just moved that credit over to here so I don't have to come out of my pocket with any more money. So we just, you know, we just held on to the option. We weren't purchasing it right away. We just held on to the option. Now she can't sell it, right? So now she can't sell it. I'm still doing Airbnb and we're trying to figure out, okay, what, what strategy do I want to do? Use how much, how much of this do I want to just buy it myself? What do I want to do with it? Well, I, I came to the conclusion that I'm just going to sell it. I'm going to flip it because I, you know, I tested the market on a couple of things. And so I put it on the market with a flat fee listing. So just the 3% to the selling agent. I sold the property to uh, um, a nice um, starter family for 128,000. So I had a gross profit of 30 grand. Only thing I did was I put, I paid uh, the door company 500 bucks to put on a new garage door for aesthetics. When we um when we first listed it before we listed it, and then um, uh, four days before closing, four days before closing, we uh, I had one of my guys uh, put in an efficiency furnace. It was a five thousand dollar job that I I got done for sixteen hundred bucks. So twenty one hundred dollars <laughs> is what I is what I did, and um is what I had into that, 
along with my 2400 security deposit and um and uh, first month's rent now the beauty of that is obviously i got that money back from the airbnb profits and the security deposit came off of what came off of the purchase price so it was a credit against my purchase price so i, I um so I netted because I paid closing costs. And with her, I even agreed to, I paid all the closing costs. So she used my attorney, right? I did, I coordinated the whole deal. She used my attorney and because it was, I mean, you guys are familiar with the seasoning issue, right? So because it was, I wasn't sure if I was gonna sell it to an investor, if an investor was gonna buy it or or just a, um, uh, I, I targeted investors initially. But it, it was a it was a conventional loan that they they did, and so now because I, I I although I had signed title I never filed it, so now we had the seasoning issue, and I I so what we had to do was I had Michelle close it in her name, I didn't do it simultaneously. I had closed it in her name, and um, we had the agreement uh, with the attorney, um, you know he had our agreement of what I was what my option was for. And at closing, she got her ninety-eight thousand. I paid closing costs, um, and um, I walked away with a net check for twenty-four grand. Nice. And that was that one happened just a few months back. So, so that so when it comes to creative real estate, when we talk about win-win, right? That's the foundation of everything for two reasons. One is you know that work that we do up front. There's a lot of things that is gonna come out of that if you just if you just do good business with people, right? There's a lot that's gonna come out of that um, because you're building good relationships with people that you're that you enjoy working with and that really enjoy working with you, and um, and then you are actually giving them a taste of passive real estate investing because when they're doing business with you, you don't have to think about or worry about anything. Michelle was in Atlanta. In Atlanta, she didn't have to think about anything, loving life, right? And so, and know and knew that her place was taken care of, just like uh, um, Maurice knows, because every time someone checks out, our professional cleaners goes in and they take care of the place, right? The place looking good, smelling good. You know, we got our our our, our um, lawn guys taking care of things. Everything is just it's better than it was when they were there. Right, so, and it's passive. They don't have to think of anything. Money just gets deposited every month, right? Every month using Cash App, or in her case, um, it was just a transfer over to her bank account. That's all it was. But when we write up these leases, what does it say? Google Pay or Cash App. So you don't run around, you're not sending out checks, none of that stuff. They're loving you. And it turns into other things. I might now, I may now have a portfolio of properties that coming from Maurice within the next few months that just lands in my lap. That's going to generate maybe another hundred or so thousand dollars a year for me, right? And it's just because I did good business, right? And we use what win-win principles. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stop for a second and 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 ask you, how's that sound so far? Does it make does that make sense yeah i think it sounds great the reason why i'm getting in the reason why i'm focusing in on this first guys is because um like this is the key like this is the foundation when you can have properties come people not people but people with properties that are flexible and ready to work with you and they're coming to you and saying yes take mm -hmm. over my property and then you know the psychology and you understand how to make that happen from 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 um, identifying them to um, to developing the rapport and then um, and then locking up the transaction. Like when you identify the first two pieces and you know how to do that well, then you just you just all you do is just keep doing it like you you have you have an un in, in an endless flow of opportunities an endless flow of opportunities um and you do it efficiently you're not running around looking at properties and calling people on the phone doing all that stuff you're not doing that you're spending 30 minutes in the morning just sending out some some um some emails so that's it what other questions do you guys have i'm going to get these uh, i want to get your template out to you so i'm ready for the template man i'm ready to oh, oh. I, I just like taking action so good
Good. That's what I want to hear. So one thing I didn't start off with was congratulations. Guys, you guys are in. I'm so glad to have you guys um, as part of uh, of the, the the family, the team, and um, and listen. Um, and I and I, you know, the trust that you're giving me, I don't take it lightly. I know how important that is, and um, and so what you're going to see is the things that I'm telling you. They're they're going to come. They're going to happen. Um, Lord willing, um, you know, to the best everything that I have, the best that I have, I'm giving to you. Um, I'm not looking to hold anything back for any other reason other than it's just not time because I need to keep you focused on the things that are important. And right now I can talk about a million other things if I wanted to, but the key thing right now is let's just, let's, let's get the properties. Let's keep people contacting you first, right? Let's, and then we get you showing, let's get you scheduled for some showings. That's it. I'll get you guys out the template and um, just get it back to me. Uh, and and then we'll get we'll get rolling. I hope to have you guys roll by tomorrow. Okay, great. All right. All right. Thank you, Jim. Hey, wonderful. God bless you guys. Thank you. God bless you. Take care. All right.